What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. But yeah. Um, Isn't that, wasn't the thing you were talking about before camera? Wasn't there that one story? Wasn't that client from there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was, yeah. That story that you're refer referencing. Um, yeah. I got a call from that, that particular client, in fact. Um, said, hey, you know, my daughter's in Guatemala and she's in trouble. Can you get out? She's 17 years old. And basically, it was a school trip gone bad. She was going. Yeah, it was a girl school trip too. They were boarding school. I think they all graduated. She was seventeen, and all the girls thought, "Hey, it's a great idea. Let's go to Guatemala, you know, mm. for graduation." So I don't know who picked the uh, the hostel that they stayed at, but uh, um, man, it was some spooky shit. Because I went there, I had to go there to get her suitcases after I already recovered her, and so he basically. Asked me if I knew anybody could get her out of there, and I'm like, well, I wouldn't trust anybody to get her out because as soon as they know who you are and she is, um, she ain't getting out until mm. you pay a lot of money. You know, I said so. I ended up going and getting her. Make a long story short, um, went down and picked her up. I went on a Monday morning, and by Thursday morning, I delivered her to Singapore and put her in, her, in the hands of her mom. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, yeah, but uh, that was that's actually pretty. So I, you know, I, I put that in the in the recovery. Category. I do recovery, repatriation, and rescue operations as well. Um, this one was a, a recovery, you know. Where's the wildest place you ever did one of those? Man, I can't tell you. <laughs> Not that I want to. I can't. I, I, see, after that's okay. Me mentioning Guata, uh, Guatemala because I didn't do anything over the top, right? I just flew there, picked her up, brought her out. Um, but the other stuff I got to be careful because gotcha. I may need to fine. go back, you know. That's so. fine. Um, well, where minus jobs like that or something to that nature without detail of that yeah. is, have you ever been somewhere where you're legit spooked being there? Is there a country that comes to mind with that? Um, yeah. Saudi Arabia. Why? Uh, man, it's a very strange culture. Um, uh, let me tell you how, let me tell you how. This again, talk about freedom and things like that. If you let's say today we say something negative about Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. right? Oh, that sucks, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and you post on social media. And in five years from now, you go to Saudi Arabia, you know they can arrest you? Oh, yeah. For, the, for something yeah, you posted this. five years ago, yep, yep. right? Uh, think about that for a minute. Yeah, so, I'm never going to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I you're literally that. walking on eggshells when you go over there, and you know you're being watched. Um, what you do you know, mean being watched? Everybody's watching and they're listening, right? They're intel, everybody. You, you show up as a white guy, you know, or an expat, uh, especially an American, you know, you're going to, people are going to pay attention to you. Um, can they get your, can they wi wire into oh, your iPhone they, when you land? Probably, yeah. 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 They, they, they got a lot of capabilities. You know why they got them? Because we gave them to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, you're not going to escape all that. So you got to be very careful what you do over there. Anything that could be construed as business, if you're on a tourist passport and you do anything that could be construed as business, um, you could end up in jail right away, you know. And they can detain you as long as they want until they process it and, and pass judgment. Um, like literally, you could, you could end up being in a detention center for 10 years or two years and nothing's happening. You don't get to talk to anybody, and you're waiting for them to make a decision on did you do something wrong or not. It's a very scary place, a very scary place. I do not like being there just because of that. You know, coming out, I remember um, I was leaving the country, and, you know, they scanned my, my bags as I was leaving the country to go into the terminal, and I had a keychain in my backpack that had a small... Um, in fact, it had a small, if you could see this, this little metal gun here. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. About that size. It was a key ring. And I had my house keys on it. It was in my backpack, buried. I didn't even know it was still in there, right? And uh, anyways, they found that. They pulled me in a secondary. They laid it out there. And they're like, this is not allowed. This is illegal. What? Yeah, and I'm not shitting, right? And I'm almost got in a pissing contest with the guy. I was like, are you a freaking, are you an idiot? You know, because who am I going to kill with that thing? You know, and it was illegal. Wow. It was illegal. And he was really starting to, you know, starting to dress me down on this one. And, and I'm like trying to have a conversation. I said, no, this is my keychain for my house key. You cannot have this. This is, I'm, I said, I'm getting on air. I'm leaving your country. 
You cannot have this. And it started getting a little, you know, a little heated, you know. And I remember reminding myself, Comstock, you, you're not going to win. Not in their country. Yeah. You know, shut up or you end up in that detention center, you know. <laughs> you know, for, for, for carrying a firearm through an airport. That's how they're going to, yeah, even yeah. though it's this freaking big, right? So I said, can I at least have my key off the damn thing? And he kind of almost was hesitant to give me my key. I was like, I finally got my key, you know. And I gave him the stupid thing, you know. And I'm like, oh, God dang, man. I had, a, I had another thing. It was a little, a little tiny uh, screwdriver set. And the screwdrivers were like maybe an inch long. Oh, try and take it on the plane? Yeah, I had my backpack. It's a little, it's not, it's not a weapon. You can't do anything with it, you know, unless they thought I was going to take it. I think the, a guy like you could do something with that. Oh, my God. Dude, I could do more of this, the, the soup bone than I can anything else, <laughs> man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the screwdriver, they are, you know, let me put this thing together and do something, drill some guy's wet head. Um, it's drill the doors, off, the knobs off the, uh, the, the cockpit door. Well, we know we can't do that. That, <laughs> that we learned, Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it just, yeah, a lot of lunacy out there, man. And uh, you just got to shut your mouth, respect the rules, and move out, you know. And uh, sometimes that can be a little tough, you know. And some people can really grate your nerves with some of the crap, you know. Um, that was one of the places I was a little uncomfortable with. Um, no, nah, I'd say a lot uncomfortable with you. Know, I always just felt like I'm always being watched, you know. And I just, there's other places I've been to where I know I was being watched. I know they had cameras in the rooms. Every time I show up in country, I stay in that hotel, they put me in the same room. And oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I already know that, you know, so. You waving to all of them? Hey, yeah. How are you? I'm dressing. You're doing, give me a little show, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, there's, yeah. A friend of mine has been going back and forth to Saudi Arabia a little bit, and you know, he talks about some of some of the slight outward shifts in culture. There, you know, some women can drive now. Like yeah. They're making some basic steps, I right. guess. But he talks about also how, you know, it is so, a, a lot of it is so beautiful and clean. And the price to that is that the level of strictness and what they do to people, just taking them off the streets, is the smallest thing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Scary. I mean, you you jaywalk. Yeah, you I wouldn't call it clean either, honestly. Um. <laughs> well, the places he's been, I, I'm I'll forget the cities he's been in, but the places he's been are like some of the more yeah up, you know, upscale yeah. type destination places. They're trying to show to people. Yeah, yeah, they're actually inviting a lot of tourists in, right? Because yeah. I think what's happening, they're going to oh, the the oil thing is starting to dry up. And they're trying. What to do you attract, mean? Well, I, I think what's happening is maybe they see the threat in the future of the electric cars. Uh, but there's a, for whatever reason, they're trying to attract more tourism. And uh, I got to be honest with you, we went there as tourists and we went to all the tourist sites and there was nothing there. I'm like, what? I thought there was something cool here to see, but there's actually nothing. See, I went to one castle. It was like, it looked like a sand castle on the beach that a kid built. I was like, that's it? That's the castle? It's like, <laughs> did they just kind of build this thing up real quick, you know? <laughs> it's not even a good one, you know? It's just, yeah. Um, I... Yeah, I don't know what there is to see there. I didn't see anything worth uh, wasting my time is what I did. But uh, who knows? You know, maybe I didn't uh, look look hard enough. But I've been to a lot of bad places. I've been to a lot of shitty countries. I've been to some countries that are actually very surprising, like uh, Vietnam, for example. Um, it's a communist country. But I was actually surprised, man, how well organized it was and people were thriving and, you know, People were, some people were driving really nice cars and, you know, people could do what they kind of want, you know, had a lot of freedom. Wow. I was like, okay, it's not what I imagined, you know. Um, Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.